quickly has this gone by for you? I mean, your last one game Saturday night. Man, it's like you look up one day and you're a senior. Like I remember freshman year, I'd be like, oh, no, I'll get better sophomore year. Sophomore year went by, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm going to get it next year. Then here we are. Senior year, last two games, last home game, and it really hit me last night when they posted that thing on Twitter about me being the most starts for Ole Miss right now, 38, 38 starts, and it's just like, wow, it's been a blessing to be down here with everybody. You kind of slow down, take things in a little bit more this week, and then the the, the next couple of weeks as everything's kind of winding down to a close in your college career. Yeah, like it's like you want fall camp to go fast, you want the few first few games maybe to go they, they go fast, but then when it comes down to like. When it got into November, I was like, all right, things can slow down just a little bit. I started not taking naps because I didn't want to miss, a, miss an hour, <laughs> you know, uh, watch more film, you know. But it's just been – it's went too fast a little bit sometimes. You came, you came down from New, New England, basically, mm -hmm. New Jersey, mm -hmm. to, to play football in Mississippi. Uh, yeah. What did you think about Mississippi before you got here, and what do you think about Mississippi now that you've oh. been here for a while? People don't – people – Mississippi has a stereotypes, but you really don't know what Mississippi is all about until you actually come and live here for a while. And me being from the north, you know, you hear all those things, but all those things, nothing was true about it because I've been to places and show, nobody showed nothing but love, and it's just been a blessing to be down here. only thing I would say, I came to the south for heat, for heat, and it's been <laughs> cold these last few days, and it feels like I'm back at home. but. It's, it's been a blessing being down here in Mississippi, getting out of my culture and just being able to see something different, you know. Having some other Northerners down here like Austrian and Q. Yeah, to my guys. Help, did that help or was it? Yeah, uh, I remember when Q was at Syracuse and he came down here. We actually had dinner with him because my parents and his parents are close. So that's cool. And then um, also when I came down here, it was like, okay, I got another a person from up north. It was, it's always good. And then our our analyst Zach, we always, you know, we have a, a tight click, you know, yeah. us northerners. So, and then um, Jaden Jackson, he's from Arkansas High School, but we claim him sometimes when he makes plays. We'll say he's from PA. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got so, uh, y'all got a big task ahead of you yeah. Saturday night. Just talk a little bit about Joe Burrow and that LSU passing attack. Yeah, he's definitely. Improved as a player, he's definitely you can see he's crafty. Worked at it in all season, and he's really probably one of the, what they say the Heisman candidate. So he's definitely worked for it and everything. But um, we just got to go out and play our ball. You know, um, can't make it too big for ourselves. You just got to hone in on our, on our technique and go execute the game plan, and we'll be perfectly fine as long as the freshmen don't put it too big for themselves. Don't. And they have to have confidence in themselves, everybody. Everybody has to have confidence in themselves and confidence in one another to get their job done. Not trying to make the play, let the play and the execution come to you. You've you played. and some of the other guys in y'all's class endured some pretty lean years. And a lot of it you didn't really sign up for when you got here. Whether y'all end up making it to a bowl or not, can y'all kind of take some solace in the fact that you stabilized yeah. things when things weren't all Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely been a blessing to just stay around and try to like build something from the bottom, you know. When everything happened, you had a bunch of people who left, but they, that was their decision. Our decision was to stay around because we believed in what Coach Luke was telling us. And he's been a big part of my life because he's shown nothing but love when he became the head coach. He made an effort to get to know every single body, every person on the team. So it's been a blessing having him as a mentor, as a person I could go to at any time. He has an open door policy. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a hard decision for me to stay here because uh, my family comes down. It's not like I would, I'm far away from home, but not really that far. I have so much family down here. So it made it very comfortable when I had to make that decision about leaving or staying, and it wasn't hard at all. You've played against LSU four times. You've scouted them, but now they're so different than yeah, the team you were scouting. Different. Did you ever expect to play a team like this that throws like they have? Nah, I didn't. Um, you know, you go back in the past with LSU, you had Leonard Fournette, guys, you had all those people running downhill, they'd be in I formation. Now you see they're spread out. They got four different wide receivers on the field. They got a tight end that would go up and get the ball. And they got a quarterback that's actually throwing the ball, who make any throw on the field. And it's it's a different approach, but you know, you go against some of those teams during the during the course of the year, so you, it's not a big surprise when you go up against LSU that has changed like that. So it's definitely different seeing them like that, but if it works for them, hopefully we can go out and execute our game plan and, and do the best of our ability. I know there's a big crowd expected Saturday night, but does the crowd help y'all? Oh, the, when, you look, when you come out and for pre-warm-up and you see it's packed already, you're like, all right, we go, they're going to have our back. And it, it really – 
helps us on defense on third down so the offense can't look to the sideline, make checks and stuff. They can't really talk as much because people don't really know. Like, when the crowd's making that noise, it really – it pumps me up. Like, when like I hear the songs playing, get to dancing a little bit on the field before they come out. It's just amazing when you get to look up and you see all these people. And then also with this crowd, um, I'm going to have a lot of family members there. It's, it's going to be amazing. Um, I didn't have senior night my in high school, so this will be my first senior night. And it's just amazing to have all my family there. My mom and dad will be walking me out. So it's definitely a different game for me, my first senior night ever. So it's going to be exciting. Thanks.